Hey humans, Bob here, and today I'm here to show you the Astro A20 wireless headset. Before we jump into it, I just want to say a big thank you to Astro for sending this headset over. Um, I'm very lucky to be partnered with Astro and able to be sent these things so I can test them out, so I can share them with you. Thank you to send it for sending these over. Um, I've really enjoyed my time testing these ones out. Um, the Astro A20 headset is actually the new version that has just released. Uh, they're the more affordable wireless version that are available uh, of Astro's. These are the A20s versus the other wireless uh, headset in the range, which are the A50s, which are these. Um, basically, these retail around about £100, uh, whereas the A50s are around about £300. Uh, so they are the more affordable version. Um, these are the Xbox uh version of the headset basically the difference between these versions is this a20 does not have the a the a50 base station which comes with that uh, you actually get this little dongle that you can use to pair it with your consoles or with your pc um Basically, you need to get the right version if you want to be able to use the full functionality of the party chat. So if you have a PlayStation 4 and a PC, you need to get the PS4 version. If you have an Xbox and a PC or just, you know, an Xbox or just um, you'll get the Xbox version, which is the green version. The PlayStation being the blue one, as well as it being built for the uh, PC or Xbox or PlayStation 4. These headsets will actually work with the next generation of consoles. So Xbox Series S and X, as well as the PS5, depending on obviously which version you get um they're super quick sync with this dongle you basically plug it in you click on the button that's just on the side here i'll just show you that you hold down that button there hit the button that's actually on the dongle there i don't know if you see that right there and uh they pair it's super quick super easy i actually haven't had a headset that's been that easy to set up for a while so it was, that was really nice when i was testing it out i've actually been testing this out um not on my stream setup um, mainly because the actual A20s don't work with my stream setup. If you are a content creator with a Go XLR or mixer, um, these probably won't work too well. Uh, I know I have the Go XLR. Mine, I basically can't get the audio coming through the way I need to. Um, so I would advise you to think about that when you're buying one of these for your setup. Um, the good news is, is if you do want to get an Astro headset and you're like, hey, I have a Go XLR, I want to have a wireless headset, then I'd be looking at the A50s. If you want to see both of these products compared, uh, go to the Astro website, uh, links are in the description down below. Also, if you click on the links down in there, there'll be a little discount when you use my link and it actually supports me as well. That said, the Astro A20s are still really, really, really comfortable. Um, even if I can't use them on stream setup, I'm using them when I'm relaxing, when I'm playing games offline, which has been really awesome. Um, they don't hurt your head if you have glasses on. This is one of the big things. One of the biggest questions people ask me is, hey, if I put it on my head, does it squeeze my head in? Um, it really doesn't. The actual cups are super, super soft as well, which is really nice when you're just chilling and just relaxing playing games. As well as having really soft in-ear cups, you actually have a, a new type of uh, head cushion, which I've not seen before on Astro headsets. It's actually like a, a squishy like style versus the uh padded style which i'm used to with the other headsets you see there that's like a plushy style and this one's more like a like a squidgy sort of thing um i find the padded fabric stuff a little bit more comfortable i think this is really more there for durability especially if you're buying a headset like this for someone who's maybe a little bit younger uh, and maybe not too used to taking care of headsets like some of us older folk <laughs> As well as the padding being different, you'll also find that the design is a little different as well. Typically, most Astro headsets are black and silver and like that kind of chrome and cool thing. Um, we actually have a white design on these. Obviously, the accents change depending on which version you get. Uh, green being the Xbox, as I mentioned earlier, and blue being PlayStation. Um, but I really love the white design. They look super sleek. I think they look amazing personally. Um, you've got a really cool accent actually on the mic as well. You actually got the white bit on the mic. Uh, these is, this is actually a flip to mute um, headset as well. So that's really helpful for you to know. Okay, well, why can't my teammates hear me? It's because you got this up. It's because you got this up. It, look, it's there. It's, it's, not in the, it's not in the right position. 
As well as the all the kind of comfort features as well, you'll find some really cool features that uh, I find Astro do really, really well. Uh, you have a feature here where you get to change the equalizer settings. You could just run through that by pressing the buttons going through there. You can also have the, you know, the volume dial there, which you're You'd expect on most headsets, but I like how easy and smooth that is. That feels like a really good quality dial. Um, as well as that, this this is a super cool feature, which I love, which is kind of why I fell in love with Astro in the first place with the uh, A40 mix amps, is that you actually get to swap between, uh, I don't know if you could see that, voice and game. So by holding onto those buttons, you can actually switch between, you know, the sound of your teammates screaming at you for you to res them in your game of Apex and just focus on, you know, the bullets whizzing past your head. Much more efficient. <laughs> right, now we've talked about some of the pros of the headsets, but now let's talk about some of the maybe niggly bits that I'd love to um, highlight for you guys when you're considering buying an Astro headset. Like I say, I'm a huge fan of the A50s. I use them pretty much every day uh in everything i use all my editing all my content creation all my streaming all my gaming um so i just want to point out a couple of things as these are more affordable um than the a50s in terms of being the wireless counterpart um of the a20 the more expensive wireless counterpart of the a20s um you will notice some things the audio quality is not the same it is still great audio quality you'll find a really big difference than your regular um headset that you just bought from you know down road um but the, they are a lot better astro uh, audio is pretty much always fantastic but you will notice a difference if you start to go up to its higher number counterparts the a40s the a50s um that said as well another thing that i really miss is you can't turn the ear cup. So if you're if you're wireless and you're walking around the house, I love to be able to do this. So I'll show you again. I'm doing a lot of comparisons with the A50s, but I love to be able to do that. They're out the way. They're not like getting in your way here. So when you notice with the A20s, they kind of almost put a neck brace on you. So that's something you can see that that's just kind of a pet peeve of mine. I like headsets that turn in, but I understand as well that's, uh, that's a part that's going to probably cost a little bit more money and there is a decent price difference between the two as well as that one of the big ones and like i mentioned earlier if you are a content creator if you are using a mixer like the go xlr or the go xlr mini uh these will not take advantage of those because they're coming through the audio will be coming through usb you will have to listen on that um audio output from your pc so consider that when buying i don't want loads of streamers going out and going hey Bob said go buy the Astro A20s, uh, but it doesn't work with my stuff. Do your research, make sure you go check out the website, check out all the connections, how everything works. Also, maybe check out some other videos if you're still unsure and you're like, I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy. Look at him, he looks shady. Um, but if you want to go take a look, please um, research into that, especially when you're buying anything with content creation in mind. But that said, I have thoroughly enjoyed using the Astro A20s. I will be using them for my... Uh, off stream gaming um they're super super comfortable my wife is already trying to steal them from me i think i might have them for another month before she finally takes them over but a cracking headset nonetheless if you are a console gamer i highly recommend them especially if you're looking for next generation headsets this is something that can work now and will work later all the information around all the next generation uh compatibility will be found on the astro website again i'll try and put some links in the description down below if you do have any questions about this headset other headsets from astro or just generally like what equipment to use around your streaming and content creation come check me out over on twitch tv forward slash bob duck and weave uh, i'm live pretty much four or five days a week i don't know it depends i usually do this one day you don't need to know i'm prattling on anyway <laughs> if you like this video don't forget to drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this from me don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to as well and maybe come check me out on socials uh twitter i do tweets and stuff over there um twitter.com forward slash bob duck and weave links in the description down below you will take care humans thanks so much for being here i appreciate you all stay safe stay awesome i'll see you all soon bye bye <laughs>